hello you are welcome how to solve this problem x into bracket x plus 2 into bracket x plus 4 into bracket x plus 6 equals to 9 from here let's rearrange this and uh, we take x and x plus 6 together so we have x multiply by x plus 6 we bring that together and uh, also we bring these two together so we have x plus 2 multiply by x plus 4 then we close bracket which is equals to 9 and then from here when we expand what we have in this bracket this becomes x square plus 6x then the second bracket as well we expand x we multiply first we have x square then plus 4x then we use 2 to multiply as well that's plus 2x plus 8 which is equals to 9 and uh, in the next step let's add the like terms here and uh, we have x square plus 6x then into bracket x square also we have plus 6x then plus 8 which is equals to 9 and uh, in the next step we have x square plus 6x common here so let a letter now represent that so you say let u be equals to x square plus 6x then when we write this in terms of u this will become u multiplied by u plus 8 equals to 9 then we use u here to open the bracket then this becomes u square plus 8u then equals to 9 we can take this 9 here to form the quadratic equation and uh, this will become u square plus 8u minus 9 equals to 0 then we can factorize this and uh, we, this will become u square plus 9u minus u minus 9 now equals to 0 because 9u minus u will give us 8u and also when we multiply we get minus 9 so from here we group this one together we factor it out so here we have u out into bracket u plus 9 also from here minus 1 is common that will remain u plus 9 which is equals to 0 and uh, from here we have u plus 9 common that's u plus 9 out then multiply by u minus 1 which is equals to 0 so we have two cases from here the first we have u plus 9 equals to 0 and also we have u minus 1 equals to 0 from here this same thing as u equals to minus 9 and also from here this is u equals to 1 so from here the value of u we represented u as x square plus 6x so we take x square plus 6x as u and when we replace it back here this will become x square plus 6x equals to minus 9 and also on this side we have x square plus 6x equals to 1 let's take minus 9 back here to form a quadratic equation we have x square plus 6x then we have plus 9 equals to 0 also x square plus 6x minus 1 equals to 0 let's solve this side this side can be written as perfect square as x plus 3 squared then equals to 0 expansion of this will give us this back then we can take the square root on both sides square root cancel square square here and uh, what we have here is x plus 3 equals to 0 and when we take 3 to that place x equals to minus 3 from here then on this side as well we can solve this quadratic equation 
and we use the quadratic formula x equals to minus v that's minus 6 plus or minus square root of v squared that's c squared minus 4a 1 is a then c is minus 1 over 2 times a that's 2 times 1 and by the time we simplify this we have x to be equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of we have 6 squared that's 36 then minus times minus that's plus that's plus 4 36 plus 4 that's square root of 40 then all over 2 and square root of 40 here we can write it as 4 times 10 and square root of 4 is 2 so here we become minus 6 plus or minus 2 root 10 now then over 2 and 2 can go in 6 2 can go in 2 so here we can write this simply as minus 3 plus or minus root 10 so x we have two values of x from here therefore we can conclude that the value of x that we have if this is x1 then x2 will be minus 3 plus root 10 and the x3 will be minus 3 minus root 10 and we can check for this value of values of x to confirm whether it satisfies the equation thank you for watching don't forget this step and for you not to miss out subscribe to my channel see you in the next class and bye for now